Okay, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at some more model building techniques and we'll do in particular in associated with building a building. And the reason being is for, was for several reasons. One is just because it gives me optional ways to do it and the other is because you need to have a way to render the insides of objects for the game engine if you're using that approach as well. So I have the object, if I press F12, it renders just fine. And if I say go into edit mode and cut out one of these faces, X only faces like that, I can see on the inside, if I render it, I, there I see on the inside, however if I work from within the game engine and I press P to start it, whoops, gotta go out of edit mode, I start it, there I don't see the inside, right, so it's only rendering single sided faces, so I need to have a way to fix that, and sometimes th there's actually numerous ways, well one of the ways is I could actually start here and I could just say select everything, and I could press well, the easiest way would be Shift D, left click right in place, and then press S and just scale down just a little bit like that. Okay? And if I go into here and turn on my normals like that, I'm you can see the normals are facing outward, and I don't say inward facing normals. So with those selected, there's my copy selected. I go over to the mesh to the normals and I'll flip the normals like that. And now I have them facing both directions. So then if I leave edit mode and start the game, now I just do see the inside of that object. All right, that's really helpful for the game because sometimes what you want to do is be selective. Sometimes I just do it per face because there might be certain faces I wouldn't see on the inside and I want to save uh, polygons as I go. Well, that's this approach works pretty well. So let me control Z this though back to the beginning here. All right, but now let's take a look at it like this and let's apply a beveled edge to it first like we did in the previous video. Okay, so now we have this angled edge like this, and then I'll go in and I'll still cut out this. Oh, let me apply it actually. I'll apply it. I'll cut out this face, and there's my inside. And then I'm going to press. I'll do the same thing. I'll get everything. Shift D. Then I'm going to try and scale this down. And let's see what that looks like. Well, then that starts working okay. That one actually didn't work too bad. Well, what happened if I just scaled on Y, S, Y, like that? Now that's not working too bad there either as far as that's concerned. So we're going to flip those edges as well. Mesh, normals, you can either, well I flipped the normals, I could also just recalculate inside. And there they are all pointing to the inside like that. So let me see what it looks like. Now that still looks fine. And then in the game engine, uh, I, still, I press P, now I have something goofy there. What is goofy there? See those edges? Right in there. Oh, see, so uh, maybe I extruded, I scaled it too much, and now I'm seeing the inside of that edge. Well, all these little details come up. Sometimes when you, you have the either option of doing Shift D and making copies, or just pressing E and extruding, they don't always work exactly right when you have angled edges, especially when you're using extrusion. You're trying to extrude a whole structure and you have this angled edge. What will happen is you'll get these anomalies in the shading. So you have to just be aware of that and try a different approach. So those are a couple of approaches. Now let's try something else, a different way I approach this sometimes. Altogether. So sometimes if I'm building a building like this, sometimes I'll just go in. I could do it either individually. Well, that's already got an inside face. But sometimes what I'll do is I'll come in and I'll, I'll just grab a... No, that doesn't have an inside face. Sometimes I'll just come in like this and I'll press Shift D like that and just move it a little bit in one direction and just do it per face. And that saves me polygons. It's all about the, the polygons for the game engine. So that's one approach. But that kind of can be laborious, especially if you have a window in the structure. Like if I take this structure here and I, let's control R. Let's just get a loop like that, right? And then we'll do it again, control R, like this. And then maybe this will be my window, like that. So I might make this, and I may just extrude it in X, like this. And then this inside edge becomes the color of the building. That's fine on this side. And let's see if I look at it from the inside, if I can go inside of it. And there it is. But then this side on the inside also becomes the color of the building. So then I'd have to go in and I have to go in and select all these faces like this. 
right? Because that's blue and that's blue, and then I have to make those their own colors. So it's just it just kind of depends where you work, which is which you might find easier. And then the last way that I work, you know, I would just give that a new material, of course. So, and then one other way that I work, which is pretty interesting, is I'll just use a torus instead. And you might say a torus for building a building. That doesn't make any sense. Well, yes, it does. So let's go grab a torus into the scene. And so grab it here. Before I do anything, I'll press T and bring up the menu. And then down here, see I have all these different segments like this. So let's cut this down to say four segments. Where's my torus? Must be below the scene. And I'll make this five segments. See if I can find it. There it is. I just know the numbers I need to use. All right, so four and five segments like that, All right? And then that's pretty interesting because that can form this this structure of the building that I need with beveled edges already, like this. See that? Okay. So then that gives me my inside walls already, so I don't have to change any normals like that. And the reason I like to work with things like this is because then once you have this basic piece in place, you can make your modifications to to it how you want, and then you just go use the array modifier. And maybe I just don't want to change it in, just change it in Z, right, like that, and then maybe this will be my building, just like this, based on that shape. And then I have those nice inside edges, and you can see I'll press P to go into the game engine, and then already I see those, it's got inside faces ready to go. So just options for working, and you might find it useful. And that's it for now. I'll see you in the next lesson.